It is called An Alive Day, and this week our ABC colleagues and friends, correspondent Bob Woodruff and cameraman Doug Vogt, will celebrate their 10th Alive Day. It is hard to believe that it was 10 years ago that Bob and Doug were badly injured by a roadside bomb in Iraq. There's rarely a day that I do not think about that when I walk into ABC News, because that morning, after somewhat encouraging calls, I got a call saying that Bob might not make it, just as I was heading into the building to join George on this program to deliver the news of the bombing. Good morning, everyone. We have to begin today with some news that has hit close to home for all of us here at ABC. Our World News Tonight co-anchor Bob Woodruff and his cameraman Doug Vogt were reporting today from Taji, Iraq, when their convoy was hit by an IED. What more do we know? Bob and Doug were in a convoy, and they were with U.S. military as well from the 4th Infantry Division. The IED went off. They were both immediately injured. Both apparently have shrapnel wounds to the head. Bob is in surgery. We I'm delivered sure just Doug the facts. At this point. But at that moment, in a small combat hospital so far away, military surgeons were removing part of Bob's skull to relieve the pressure on his brain. Once stabilized, both Bob and Doug would begin the journey thousands and thousands of our wounded service members have taken through Landstuhl, Germany, and then finally to Bethesda Medical Center here at home. For nearly 40 days, Bob lay in a coma. His wife, Lee, their four children, and extended family at his side. <laughs> then slowly and miraculously, he is one special guy. <laughs> after multiple surgeries to rebuild his skull, has scissors and intense cognitive therapy. You're going to get out of here hopefully on Wednesday. Bob was well on his way to recovery. Good evening. I'm Bob Woodruff. Remarkably, just over a year later, Bob was back on the air and has since spent the last decade reporting from around the globe, from inside North Korea. We are told that 10 to 15,000 have actually come here. To deep down a Colombian mine. That is, uh, that's about the most frightened I've been. But through it all, Bob never forgot what the military had done for him. Instead of just thanking those who saved his life, who treated him like one of their own, Bob and Lee have devoted their lives to helping our wounded veterans and the families who support them. The Bob Woodruff Foundation, with its annual Stand Up for Heroes Gala in New York, has raised more than $30 million, reaching more than 2 million of our veterans and families. And I am proud to be part of that organization and proud that Bob Woodruff joins me now from his latest assignment, Beijing, where he began his career. Happy Alive Day, my friend. And of course, to Doug, who continues to shoot beautiful video for ABC. Bob, I just want your thoughts on this anniversary. Well, you know, it's been, uh, it's hard to believe it's been 10 years. Uh, this time has just flown, you know, past so quickly, so quickly. I mean, we, I've, I've got so many friends. I talked to my other teammates uh, to celebrate this as well. And I think we just feel just so lucky, really, to be here at all and to be on this with you, Martha. And you've been such a huge supporter from the very beginning. I think all of us love you. Well, let, let's talk about those wounded veterans you've helped. It really is remarkable, Bob, how much you and Lee have done and what that's meant for you and your own recovery. You know, I think I'll never forget that story. I mean, I was, I was, of course, in a coma for, you know, five weeks, as you know. And I, my wife told me later on that on that same floor, there was another Marine that while we were sur surrounded by our friends, our family, and of course, ABC was really very helpful in all of this, but there was no family members or friends were surrounding him. And they, she said to herself and my brothers as well, they said, when we're done with this and we get out of here, let's do something so that just doesn't happen. All of our medical care was the same. These surgeons, these nurses have been amazing, the medics, the corpsmen. But in terms of how to deal with them when they go back to their communities and make sure they fit in again and they do that transition well, they said, we've got to do some kind of organization to do it. And I have to say, Martha, as, as, you, as you also know, that uh, I think this is probably the most fulfilling, moving thing I've ever done in my life. 
There's it, good things and there's bad things that come out of tragedy, and this is one of the good things. It's certainly the most fulfilling for me. Bob Woodruff, thank you very much for joining us, my friend, this morning. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News tonight, and we'll see you back here next week. Have a great day.